Hello everybody, this is my dog Alma, she's gonna steal my focus today, but it's alright, my apartment is a bit too dark because of this weather, so we're all filming outside. Yeah, she's being cute. Mainly she wants the focus to be on, on herself, and <laughs> yeah, and this is Belly. Belly, say hi! <laughs> Okay, so today I want to talk to you about uh, my favorite Stoneford fragrance, which is Ombre Leather. Now, Ombre, Ombre Leather might be not a very conventional choice for the, for a favorite Stoneford fragrance because it is not from their private line, but um, to my taste, it, it smells. It has the best smell. Alma. <laughs> okay, she's done something to the focus. Yeah, and I'm back. Okay, so Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Why I think it's the best Tom Ford fragrance. And of course, when I say the best, I mean it's my personal opinion. <laughs> okay, sorry. I will try to do this. So, Ombre Leather. Ombre Leather uh, is classified in our local drugstores as a men fragrance. And I do think it's totally unisex, uh, similar to all fragrances, basically. But even if we... Uh, agree with the, the, the usual classification to female and male fragrances. I think ombre leather can be really classified as both male and female because I think this this the scent is really it has both uh, soft and floral aspects and it also has the depths of uh, leather note. And what I like about Tom Ford ombre leather is the fact that it is both. Uh, uh, very leathery obviously because it is called ombre leather and it is also uh, pretty floral um, more specifically it has white florals in it and while this fragrance is usually considered to be a winter fragrance i think it's great during the summer because uh, when the weather is hot i think the white florals uh, really come out to the center stage and shine but if I wear it during the winter, I think it's more focused on the leather instead of white flowers. Yeah, it's really leathery, but the leather is not rough. It's not um, it's not like Tuscan leather or even uh, leather six, which is also a fragrance I like. I usually tend to like leather fragrances, but sometimes they are so rough that they might get a bit difficult to wear. Uh, contrary, I think what makes ombre leather so great is that the leather is is relatively soft and uh, it's really it has this softness to it that makes it really wearable in, in terms of leather because leather can tend to be a bit uh, challenging to wear and it's not it's hard to not think about motorcycles and heavy leather jackets and rough basically rough men <laughs> and I think uh, that ombre leather, contrary to these rough leather fragrances, it is relatively soft and delicate. Not delicate as um, super feminine fr uh, fragrance, but delicate in terms of leather. On one side, it makes me feel pretty powerful. When I wear it, I usually like to wear it uh, on conferences or when I give lectures, I teach at the university. So. For me, when I teach, I like wearing ombre leather because it gives me this um, sense of power. But also, when I wear it in the summer, uh, it's not just the leather, but it's also the white flowers. And the white flowers gives it really... Um, the leather gives white flowers a really nice, dark, mysterious and sexy dimension. And this is what I like about uh, ombre leather because I'm a big fan of white florals and I think Sometimes they tend to be a bit boring or a bit straightforward, you know, just floral, white floral, feminine scent, and uh, I sometimes get bored with them because they are so alike. But ombre leather gives them this dark and mysterious side, so it, uh, I can wear it when I want to feel powerful, but I can also wear it when I want to feel and smell like white flowers with an edge. And edgy, I think it's a pretty good word to describe this fragrance to people who are not deep into the niche fragrances who want to start out with a bit uh, more unusual scents unusual in a sense that they're not something they have in their collection i mean if you like white flowers white flowers but you want to try them a bit uh, uh, you want to try a bit darker white flowers or 
dark white flowers might sound like sound like a contradictor, uh, contradiction but i mean if you want to try sexier white flowers for example with, uh, with an edge i think ombre leather might be a good start also if you want to experiment with leather scents i think ombre leather is also a great uh, starting fragrance to to um, to experience the leather note without going too rough without um, uh, getting a fragrance which might be too strong for you if you've never tried leather before or you are not familiar with the leather note and how you feel about it so i think uh, ombre leather can be great for uh, in a sense that is good for beginners and i think uh, many people who don't like uh, leather in general actually uh, find this one really wearable and nice so I think Ombre Leather is my favorite of Ford because it's so versatile for me and also I just really enjoy the scent and I enjoy the fact that it also smells nice in winter in, in the summer. Uh, though some people told me that I'm crazy for wearing Ombre Leather in the summer because it's this mode, its project, it projection is huge. And But I think that in the summer the projection is mostly white flowers so it's not... Uh, it's not too offensive and I never got any comments about not smelling good when I wear ombre leather um, some I don't get many compliments about this one uh, either so <laughs> uh, as long as I don't get any negative comments uh, I think I'm good so I have no problem wearing uh, ombre leather in the summer uh, I can even wear it uh, to the office because uh, some fragrances I like are too strong for the office but I think the fact that Tom Ford ombre leather tends to go uh, a bit floral in the summer I think it makes it um, I think it makes it uh, an okay fragrance to wear uh, in the office. Now, uh, if you are not sure if you like the leather note, I would suggest to test this one first, even though I think it's pretty wearable. It's still, um, it's still not a cheapy, so it does cost uh, money. So if you are not sure if leather note is for you, I would suggest to get a sample first and to try this one out. So this is for now. Uh, see you in the next one. And uh, thank you for being with me. Bye.